Hello, lovely JSS3 students of Touch Bearers Academy. Good day. How are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed the holiday. I know we have missed class activities and we pray that the pandemic will soon be over so that we can all return to school and meet physically. All right. I want to urge you all that you take these online classes very seriously even as we begin this exciting third term. Today, in view of your exams, we will be discussing pests of crops. Next slide. What are crop pests? Crop pests are organisms which damage crops. It does reduce the yield and quality of food produced by farmers. Examples of crop pests we have your insects, you have your rodents, you have your birds, you have your nematodes, you have your mollusks, monkeys, and bats. And sometimes even man can be classified as a crop pest. Next slide. Classification of insect pests based on mud parts. Now, insect pests are the most common form of crop pest. So they are further divided into three categories based on their mud parts. You have the piercing and sucking insects. You have the biting and chewing insects. Then we also have the boring insects. Now, as we look at each of these forms separately, I want us to take note of the mud parts they possess, what they feed on, and examples. So for each of these categories, we'll be looking at the mouth parts, what they feed on, and examples of such insect pests. So A, piercing and sucking insects. These insects have what we call proboscis. They are needle-like and they are used for piercing. I said piercing and sucking insects have what we call proboscis needle-like in form and is used for penetrating now they feed on cell sap they feed on what cell sap examples you have your aphids your capsid your cotton stainer you also have scale insects and white fly next slide biting and chewing insects now these insects have what we call toothed honey jaws also called the mandibles. They also have accessory jaws called mazile. Then they have the upper and lower lip, which is the labrum and the labium. So these are the mouth parts possessed by biting and chewing insects. They have mandibles, mazile, labium, and labrum. So the labium and labrum are called the lips, upper and lower lips. They feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits. So that's what they feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits. Examples, you have your grasshopper, you have your beetle. Next slide. Now we have the boring insects. These possess short snouts with chewing mandibles. Now, take note. Every insect that chews has what we call, have what we call rather, mandibles. So every chewing insect, your boring insect, after boring, they also chew. So they have what we call mandibles also. They use it for boring. So they use their mandibles to bore into plants. They feed on plant tissues and also attack stored grains. So when we talk of stored grains, we're talking about your, your rice, your maize, your beans. So they feed on those class of food. Examples, you have your stem borers and you have your weevils. Next slide. Examples of common insect pests. So what are the most common insect pests we see around us? The first one, we have your weevils. I'm sure everybody knows bean weevil. So that's a common example of insect pests, your weevils. It affects rice, it affects maize, and it also affects beans. So we have rice weevil. We have maize weevils, then we have beans weevil. The second example is your ear worms. These are found in corn. Sometimes when you open corn rolls, you see this worm like insects in between the corn. So that's an example of crop pest. 
Then we also have grasshopper. Yes, we have grasshoppers usually found on your vegetables. So sometimes when you see the caterpillar, yeah, that's the larvae form of grasshopper. So we have grasshopper and feeds on yam, vegetables, rice, and also cassava. So like we said before, grasshoppers are biting and chewing insects. So they feed on leaves, flowers, and fruits. All right. Then we also have the aphids. Aphids and capsid also feed on cocoa, granite, and cowpea. And the next, you have your cassava mealybug. This feeds on cassava. They are the most common pest of cassava. Then you have your termites. Uh, we've all seen, at some point, we've seen termites around you. You must have seen a termitarium around your uh, where you stay. So termites feed on oil palm they're usually found close to oil palm tree as your banga trees yes so termites are found close there so they feed on oil palm they feed on cassava they feed on sugar cane etc next slide now we're we'll looking at the control measures of crop pests they are harmful so what are the things we can do to actually control them the first you have your use of scarecrow for insect pests such as birds, scarecrow can be used to scare off insect pests such as birds. And you, also, you also have your crop rotation. So crop rotation involves planting every year, rotating the type of crop you plant on the farm. If this year you are planting maize, the next year you should plant something like cassava. The reason why is because um, like we said before, cassava mealybug is what affects cassava, while you have your weevils affecting maize. So these are two different insect pests. So if you rotate, the chances of infestation occurring is slim compared to when you keep planting a particular crop on a farmland. Then you also have use of resistant varieties. Resistant varieties are varieties that can resist, like nimbles, they can resist crop uh, pest infestation rather they can resist pest infestation so you can make use of resistant varieties if you want you go to ministry of education of agriculture they usually say around they just ask them for improved varieties of crops they give to you then you have hand picking of insects such as grasshoppers those big insects you can actually hand pick them then you can also use chemicals chemicals such as rodenticides for killing rodents insecticides for killing insects pesticides for killing pests in general they also have nematicides for killing nematodes then you have shooting of mammalian pests rodents and beds so yeah you can use um guns to shoot beds guns and catapults also people use catapults farmers use catapults so you can use that to shoot mammalian pests rodents and beds so with this we've we have come to the end of today's class and by God's grace, in our next class, we will be discussing another interesting topic. An assignment has been dropped for you in the PDF file. Please ensure you do the assignment and submit. Thank you. Ensure you stay at home, wash your hands regularly and stay safe.